In this video I'm going to show you how to use a felt pen sketch for the shop action. So the way the action works is you open up your photo, you fill in your subject with a color and just play the action. Okay, and here's the effect that the action creates. So as you can see what the action does, it creates this uh, sketch made uh, from felt pen effect. And uh, th the effect is uh, fully layered. Uh, all layers are grouped into several folders and you can easily change the color of the overall sketch or of the each folder separately and you can also use your original photo colors so after I finish with customizing this design I'm going to create this one so I'm just going to colorize the previous one to show you how can you easily change the colors okay so let me just close these windows and uh, after you open your photo before you use the action there are a few things that you should check to make sure that the action will run without 10 years so the first thing that you should check is that your photo is a background layer so it should be called a background and have this little icon so if you have something like this or anything else just go to layer new and just choose a background from layer and then click on this menu icon over here and choose the panel options and make sure you got this option here checked the add copy the copied layers and groups then go to image mode and your photo should be in rgb color mode s bit channel and change the image size over here so for best results you should use photos that are about from 25 to 40 100 pixels wide or hide and if you use too small images uh, the sketch effect may appear too big and also if you use too large images the sketch effect may appear too small right so this is the best range uh, the range is used for the best results okay so uh, to load the action go to window actions click on the menu icon here load actions and just choose the action according to your Photoshop version just double click the action file the action folder will appear here when you open the folder you'll find the action inside and to load your brush you can just hit B on your keyboard to select the brush tool right click anywhere or the canvas and click on the gear icon load brushes and just choose the brushes according to your Photoshop version okay the brush will appear in your actions panel and now what you have to do uh, before you uh, made a brush layer uh, uh, there is one more thing uh, if your photo is uh, too dark or some areas too dark it may happen that uh, that after you play the action the uh, there is uh, details are not visible in those areas so uh, this photo got some dark areas and to make more details visible what I'm going to do is just go to image adjustments and choose shadows highlights here and it's just gonna add a little bit increase the uh, the, the amount of shadow uh, so this one this uh, by increasing the amount of shadows you're actually going to reveal more details uh, of the shadows so just choose ok and then going to go to image adjustments levels and then going to boost a little bit more uh, the, uh, the mid tones and then going to boost uh, the highlights a little bit ok so now go to layer new and uh, uh, choose a layer to create a new layer and just name it brush it is uh, very important that you write all edges lowercase like this because otherwise the action won't work and all you have to do is to pick a brush tool you can choose any color, color is not matter and pick some soft brush and just start brushing over your subject just like this and as I've done brushing before I'm just going to open my PSD file here it is so it's important that while you brush with your photo, you get this layer here selected. So you have this color fill on this layer, on the brush layer. Okay, what I'm going to do is, uh, as I want to uh, uh, have a little bit more space around this brush area. And it's always uh, better that you have more space because you can easily crop the image later, but if you don't have enough space, for example, like this, uh, the sketch effect may get uh, cut off. Alright, so I'm going to expand the canvas, just go to image canvas size. I'm gonna check here the relative, right? And I'm gonna click here to make to expand the canvas on the left side. I'm going to expand it for about 250 pixels. And I'm going to expand it a little bit on the right side. So I'm gonna click here. And I'm gonna expand it for about 350 uh, pixels. And now I'm going to click here to uh, expand the canvas uh, on the top. I'm gonna expand it for 100 pixels. And at the bottom, so I'm going to click here, I'm going to add about 200 pixels like this, and all you have to do now is to just select the action and click play and um, 
I'm going to fasten the video here and I'm going to get back as soon as the action is finished then I'm going to go throughout all the layers to show you how each layer works and how can you customize uh, the effect to get most out of the effect. Okay, so the action has just finished so I'm going to close the actions panel and the first thing that you probably want to do each time you run the action is to just close down all these folders and how to quickly do that is just hold control and down buttons for PC or command option for Mac and while this folder is selected just click on this little arrow here and that way we're going to close down all the folders. So I'm going to uh, customize this effect from the bottom. Okay, so the first layer we got here is the, let me just expand this uh, layers panel. So uh, the first layer we got here is the background color and when you double click on this color box you can uh, choose any color here. Okay, and uh, uh, here we got a background sketch. So, as the name says, that is a sketch that is in the background. It has it has this layer mask here. So, if I just hide all these layers to show you, it's not visible over the subject area. Actually, it is visible just slightly. So, when you open the properties panel, if you uh, change density to hundred, it will be 100% uh, not visible on those areas. So, by default, set a uh, uh, 95% so it's just slightly visible you can make it more visible if you just lower the density here okay I'm just gonna leave it default just like this and uh, let me just open the folder so I'm going to keep this layer hidden and then I'm just going to uh, start showing them one by one so you can more clearly see uh, how each folder uh, and the layer looks and how it works okay <coughs> excuse me uh, so uh, as you can see, the the it's a uh, burn sketch is fully layered as all other uh, sketches. So they're all creating a different uh, sketch effect. What you can do is you can select any of those layers and you can use a move tool to move them around. If you wish to remove some of these, you can just hide them, or you can select this layer mask, pick a brush tool, set foreground color to black, and you can just brush like this or the areas where we uh, where we wish to remove them and uh, we can also uh, change the opacities so you can select any of those layers and just drop down the opacity if you like okay I'm just gonna select these two layers and gonna lower the opacity a little bit something like this maybe a bit more okay so what we got here, uh, this is the uh, rogue sketch, and uh, uh, the, the the first layer here uh, provides the, the last details, and uh, every uh, next is uh, creating more and more details. But it's just a it's a rogue sketch, as you can see, and uh, uh, by default the opacity of these is set to thirty percent, so. I'm just gonna uh, drop down a little bit these like this, okay? And uh, I just gonna hide as well. So here we got a subject sketch. I'm gonna turn on actually these two folders now. So the subject sketch is, as the name uh, says, uh, it contains all the sketch layers uh, of the uh, subject, okay? And uh, uh, it's also layered, okay, as all other uh, uh, sketch folders. So these two here uh, uh, provide the most details, and you can experiment it sometimes. Just uh, you can sometimes just uh, hide some of uh, some of the layers to make it look unfinished or some similar effect, okay. And you can also lower the opacity for different. Uh, effect. What I like to do in this case when the, the sketch uh, is very uh, I would say thick okay and I would uh, like to, uh, to change the density of the sketch so it's not uh, so thick. So what I like to do is just let this layer mask and press control command I uh, to invert the layer mask and then this layer is not visible at all right. So now what, uh, then what I do is just select for example this brush you can use square breaks to change size I, I make it smaller like this and set foreground color to white and then which, uh, wherever you brush with the white this uh, sketch will appear visible right so you can just brush like this 
okay so on all of these white areas the sketch is visible so on this way you can make the sketch uh, can make it uh, less thick all right so if I should turn off these line marks you'll see the difference my three tone okay and you can do the same for these folders so I can either brush or just hold the out or option and just drag this layer mask over here just like this or else or I can just uh, select this layer mask and also invert it and then brush I can use some other brush of course as well for example this one and then brush with the white and on the areas where you wish to provide more details you can brush more on, the, on those so I'm going to use this one Okay, if I, you can, you can see the layer mask, how it looks. So if I would hide this layer mask, you can see the difference. Okay. I'm going to maybe lower the opacity more on this one. Like this. <coughs> Excuse me. And uh, you can also uh, select this main layer mask. So each of these layers has a layer mask. If you wish to remove some part to this sketch, you can select this layer mask. And... As mentioned before, pick a soft brush <coughs> and set for color, color to black. You can just brush like this, okay? Or uh, what you can do also, you can select this main layer mask and uh, it's going to remove any of the uh, sketch layers inside that folder on the areas where you brush with the black, okay? So if you brush black into this layer mask, you're going to remove any of those layers on that area, so right? Or you can use separate layer mask to remove just a, a specific part of. Uh, a specific uh, sketch layer okay and uh, here's the subject outlines okay you just hide these three layers you can better see uh, how this layer works so you got a small details I'm gonna I'm gonna keep them default and here we got the, you got a subject contour okay and you got a soft outlines so uh, to change opacity of the some layer we can click on this layer and move this slider or you can just click on where the opacity drag it aside left or right okay I'm gonna set it to about this and here is the main outlines And finally, we got the edge sketch over here, and as the name says, it's a sketch made on the edges of your subject. Uh, it makes the better blending between the background sketch and the subject sketch. It has this layer mask over here that makes the sketch doesn't go uh, too much over the subject. You can turn it off right by clicking the shoot button, or you can just leave it like that. And uh, it's also layered. As mentioned before, all sketch folders are layered, so you can select any of those and using move tool you can move it, uh, move them around, you can remove any part of the sketch by brushing uh, with the black or the, in its uh, a layer mask. Okay, and if you wish to add more details, you can just create a new layer inside any of those folders and pick any of those layers, right, adjust the size, and you can brush over there to add more details around okay and as you can see each of these sketch folders has these uh, color uh, fields uh, color field layers so if you turn them on you're gonna colorize that sketch right so I'm first going to create uh, to leave it like this and uh, after finish with custom is here I'm going to colorize it in the result they have shown you on the beginning of the video so what you got here is the overall sketch intensity if you turn it on it's going to make the sketch more intensive and to lower the intensity you can just lower the opacity here and by increasing opacity you can control uh, the intensity of the sketch okay and this is the overall sketch color so when you turn it on you're just going to color the whole sketch into this color here and you got this layer mask if you're using a white color as a background color it's always bad, best that you hold the shift button and click with this uh, layer mask to disable it it's going to colorize better all the uh, the whole sketch, but if you're using some other color, like this, then you have to you need to have this layer mask 
otherwise you're gonna color as a background color as well. Okay, but if you're using white color, you can disable this layer mask to make uh, to make it colorize actually better. So here we got the original photo colors layer, and uh, if you turn it on, you're just going to colorize uh, your photo in the original photo colors. Okay, and you can hide this layer mask uh, because if you leave this layer mask on then only uh, this subject area, the brush, will be colorized and other uh, parts of the sketch will remain uncolored. If you disable the layer mask, then it's going to use your whole photo to colorize um, the whole sketch. Uh, right? Uh, also the sketch outside of your subject area. So, now I'm just going to colorize the design as shown in the beginning. So I'm just going to turn on this layer. and. Um, I'm gonna set color over here. Okay, so just gonna turn on this one as well. I'm gonna use this color for the row sketch, for the subject sketch color. I'm just gonna use uh, this one. For the subject sketch color, you usually uh, it's best to use some darker colors because if you use brighter colors, the sketch may appear faded, right? Yeah, as you can see. And for the subject outlines color, I'm going to use this one. And finally for the edge sketch color, I'm going to use uh, this one here. Okay. So I'm pretty much happy with the design. So just quickly check before and after. So this is the before and this is the after effect. Thanks for watching.